Welcome to Discover Northern Kentucky. When you think about historical buildings and interesting architecture, you may think about the Tower of London, the Parthenon in Greece, or even the Chrysler Building in New York City. But there is an interesting and historically rich building right here in Northern Kentucky. At the corner of 5th and Madison, it's the Oddfellows Hall. Built in 1856 on one of the busiest intersections in Covington, this unimposing structure has been many, many things. It was a clandestine meeting hall for the Odd Fellows, a lending library, a Civil War prison, and in the 1950s, a roller skating rink. In 2002, Damien and Kelly Sells, along with their partner, Tony Milburn, bought the Odd Fellows Hall. What attracted me to the building uh, was the grand ballroom space that uh, all of the detailed plaster work, uh, the craftsmanship, uh, the the suspended ceiling, the just the general architectural uh, pieces of the building were fabulous. The Independent Order of Art Fellows is a fraternal organization founded on the principles of charity and altruism. The organization began in England in the 1700s. This was at a time before such institutes as social security or welfare. It was considered odd to find people organized for the purpose of giving aid and charity to those less fortunate. And this was done without thoughts of recognition or remuneration. The order was brought to the United States in 1819 when five members of the British Art Fellows established a lodge in Baltimore, Maryland. Like many other fraternal organizations, the Independent Order of Art Fellows established lodges all across the country, all complete with special symbols, rituals, and of course, positions of leadership. Outside of the IOOF logo, one of their more recognizable symbols is a three-link chain. Inside each link are the initials F, L, and T, signifying friendship, love, and truth. These symbols can be found on many buildings and graveyards, especially in and around Covington. The Independent Order of Art Fellows is still thriving and very active today, involved in many charitable and altruistic activities. Their membership is still growing and even includes Hollywood celebrities. In the 1850s, the president of the Covington Art Fellows was a gentleman named Amos Schinkel. Amos Schinkel, born August 11, 1818, was a successful businessman. His endeavors included a line of steamers or steamships that traveled between Cincinnati and New Orleans, and he was also involved in real estate. In 1856, Mr. Schinkel financed the construction of the Art Fellows Hall on Fifth and Madison. At the same time, he also helped finance another construction project, a suspension bridge to cross the Ohio River and connect Covington, Kentucky to Cincinnati, Ohio. Designing the bridge was the legendary bridge builder, Mr. John Roebling. John Augustus Roebling was born June 12, 1806 in Germany. Trained as a civil engineer, he immigrated to the United States in 1831. By the mid-1850s, he was renowned for his aqueducts and suspension bridges, all made possible by his unique wire rope system. By this time, he had overseen or built a number of projects, including the Allegheny Aqueduct Bridge, the Delaware Aqueduct, and the Niagara Falls Suspension Bridge. Now, he was called on to build what was at the time the longest suspension bridge in the world, this is what we now know as the Roebling Suspension Bridge spanning the Ohio River. In 